What's going on Internet IG here again with another Linux distro review. Today I'm going to take a quick check up on the Linux Mint Debian release. So Linux Mint recently dropped a new ISO for their Debian release. Linux Mint Debian Edition has been around for a little while now, almost two years. And in that time it's matured nicely, of course it is a rolling release so you're usually up to date with some fairly stable packages. Not super up to date software, but it is based on Debian testing, so you are going to get constant updates as the Linux Mint team approve them. Of course this particular ISO is the 2013 March edition. And so it comes with the Linux Mint Update Pack 6, which includes, of course, updates to the kernel, updates to Cinnamon, updates to the Mate or Mate desktop environment, pretty much just rolling in all the updates that you've seen in Linux Mint 14 and also the upcoming Linux Mint 15. So I'm running the Cinnamon edition here, just because I'm a bit more of a fan of the Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop. And I have actually been running my own specific themes, and as you can tell, I've taken a bit of advantage of the customization side of this distribution. That's what I love about Cinnamon nowadays. If you want to hear more thoughts on Cinnamon then you can click the videos here. There'll be annotations in the middle of the screen as well as links down below the like button on this video. So I'm not going to talk too much about the Cinnamon desktop because it's very nice, it's functional, it brings back all that functionality that you would want in a desktop operating system including widgets, applets and a traditional desktop paradigm. So why would you choose to run Linux Mint Debian Edition over the standard Linux Mint 14 or Linux Mint releases? Well of course the main main difference is that they are based on different operating systems. Of course, Linux Mint is an offshoot of Ubuntu. And of course, Linux Mint Debian Edition, as the name suggests, comes from Debian testing. Debian testing is a far more universal operating system. It has a reputation of being much more stable. And so Linux Mint decided to capitalize on that and respin, repackage their own distribution, complete with its own repositories and its own update system to give you a very nice desktop operating system that has the potential to roll and keep itself up to date with relatively stable packages. And I've found that to be fairly true in my experience. Of course, you get the Linux Mint Software Manager here to manage all of your applications. And while the Debian repositories and the Linux Mint Debian edition repositories are fairly vast, there might be some packages that you notice missing every now and again. A good example is the Kazam screencaster is not here in the software center, but there are plenty of other software available to install here through the Linux Mint software manager. And while obviously I'm not a big fan of the look and feel, it is functional and it's actually remarkably quick. So installing software is as simple hitting as hitting the install button and because you've already give it your, given it your root password, it will simply download and install that while you continue to browse and install other software. In the past, the Linux Mint Software Manager used to lock up when you would give it more than one thing to do, but now it flies along very quickly. That brings me to my next point, which is the actual package management side of Debian compared to Ubuntu. Debian is much, much quicker in laying down packages on your hard drive. Don't ask me why that is, I think it's just a, it must just be a simpler process. But after downloading a package, it's very, very quick to lay it down on your hard drive. So applying updates and all of that fun stuff comes down much quicker than what it does on Ubuntu. Of course, you have Linux Mint's own update manager to manage all the updates that come through the Debian edition. And while these updates aren't very thick and fast, you do get a steady stream of updates as well as cautions about which update packs you have available to install and what these packs mean for both you as the user and you as somebody that might like a particular element of your system and don't want it being changed. So the infrastructure that Linux Mint have set up here for their rolling release works very nicely and that I'm very impressed with. Pre-installed software is a good selection as per the standard for Linux Mint. I've obviously thrown a few bits in there myself as I am using this for the moment, but it gives you a decent selection. Of course, obtaining more Debian based software is pretty easy. But the boot time on Linux Mint Debian is very admirable. And the application launch time of many of the apps that they have pre-installed here is also very snappy. Long term, I've also noticed that Debian holds its performance much longer and uses much less resources than what a similar system based on Ubuntu is going to use. So you are going to get better resource usage out of the Linux Mint Debian release. As far as hardware support goes, I don't really have any complaints there as there is plenty of hardware support available built into Debian. And if you want to update the Linux kernel, you can do that quite easily and will give you more support. As far as the Nvidia Optimus drivers, which are pretty much mandatory for my laptop, I had no problem installing those via a Debian repository. 
Now, as you can probably tell, I'm running my own themes and stuff here, so if you want all of that, I'll put links in the description below. The Linux Mint team do a great job of packaging up their own independent desktop based on a very universal operating system being Debian. And combined with the features that the Cinnamon desktop now comes with, or the Mate desktop, it really is a very compelling option for anybody trying to steer clear of the Ubuntu camp, but still want the ease of use of a Debian based distribution. So definitely go and check it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. Once again, like this video if it helped you out and subscribe if you like this content on a regular basis. And I shall see you all in the very near future with the continuation of the cloud computing series. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.